Bismillah. First, of course, is to gear up. Aprons, gloves at the time of Corona, face masks, face shields. It's important to gear up before every washing and shrouding, no matter what the janazah is. Before doing the janazah, of course, you can have the kafin prepared, three shrouds for the brother and five shrouds for the sisters. We always place a awra cover over the deceased before initiating the ghusl, before removing the body bag, before removing the clothes, cover the awra. Testing the water to make, to make sure that the, the water is of good temperature, not too hot and not too cold, inshallah. The first step of doing the ghusl is al-istinja, cleaning the privates front and back. And the way that we check to make sure that they are clean is the water that's coming off of the sponge and the water that's passing through the drain or passing to the drain is clear. After cleaning the front part of the private part, we're going to go to the back first by turning his feet over to the side that you want to turn him to, turning his arm over, holding his waist and his shoulder blade and pulling him to you. The next step, which is the wudu, the same wudu that we would make for salah. So we would start by saying Bismillah, cleaning his right hand three times and then the left hand three times. The mouth, you don't put water inside, rather you just clean what's outside. The nose, same thing, you want to clean what's outside. After the face, you're doing the right arm three times and the left arm three times. The same wudu that we make for Salah. The very next step after Istinja is wudu and we're going to transition from wudu to the first ghusl, the first washing, which is just using water. And one simple way that we can wash a brother or sister without having to take too long is to turn the brother or sister to their left side, exposing their right side, and having the washer clean their entire face, head, and then cleaning the right side front and back at the same time. And after the right side has been cl cleansed front and back, we're going to gently put the brother or sister down so that we can clean the left side. We're going to transition this second washing, uh, this first washing of, wa of water to the second washing which is with water and any type of detergent, soap. Now we take this mixture and we do the same exact process of washing the head first, the entire head, and after the head is cleansed we're going to turn him to expose his right side, cleaning his entire right part of the body front and back and then the entire left side. The last ghusl, the third ghusl, is with water and kafur. Kafur comes in different forms. We're actually using the liquid form, which is um, a more potent form. About five, six drops is more than enough to mix with some water. And we also add itir, utur, some type of good smelling body oil. Once that mixture is done, I'm going to do the same exact process cleaning the head and exposing the right side to us so we can clean the entire right side front and back and then we're gonna wash the left side front and back after the washings have been completed we're going to pat dry the brother or sister and also wipe the table down inshallah preparing him for the next step which is the shroud and the way that we do that is by turning him to his side drying the entire table as best as you can and then bringing the shroud which is as you can see here half folded half unfolded and we're going to bring the folded side into his back as tight as you possibly can bringing it as close to the inside of his body as possible right there tucking it in so when shrouding the first step of shrouding the first area of shrouding is the right side unlike what some people may think it's not salah you're not putting the right side over the left side like in prayer this is clothing and when it comes to clothing the sunnah is to start with the right side so we're starting with the right side and alhamdulillah by Allah's permission this is how you keep the awra covered at all times and if you pay attention to his arm making sure that his arm is at his side and it's not you know uh, behind him or twisted in any way and this is a good time to pull out the bottle and uh, 
start wiping it down. There are different ways and methods to perfume a shroud, inshallah. This is the proper way to shroud, which is to pull the shroud all the way up towards the ceiling and bringing it down nice and tight. So now, alhamdulillah, the brother or sister would be able to be placed in the way and in the space and in the area that you wanted them to. This is the third and final shroud. This is going right and then right over, right here, and then the left would come after that. It's also important to tuck under the feet like that. And when finishing off, you want to make sure that you're pulling towards the head and you're pulling towards the feet to make the kafin as, t as tight and as neat as possible. Now we're going to transition and transfer our deceased brothers and sisters from the wash table to the box. So this would be the transition. We place them on a board. We bring his feet about halfway in and then we just control his weight from the top. We control the weight from the top to make sure he doesn't slide down. And then we force him in all the way close to the edge of the box, making sure that he's in, making sure that his head is cleared, he has space over his head. We turn him to one side and we remove the sliding board. Now the brother or sister is prepared to be viewed by their family or friends, whether it be at the funeral home and or ready to be taken to the masjid for Salat al-Janazah. It's extremely important that we remind ourselves of the great virtue and reward of washing and shrouding our deceased Muslim brothers and sisters. The Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said, whomsoever washes and shrouds his brother and conceals all that he sees, meaning he doesn't expose anything that he has saw in the washing, Allah in return will forgive them 40 times over. And whomsoever shrouds his deceased Muslim brother or sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shroud them yawm al-qiyamah with garments from Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all that reward. Allahumma ameen. Here we see the sisters, mashallah, taking care of the process of handling a washing and shrouding of a female. The washing, and sh the washing process for females is the same for brothers. It's the same istinja, it's the same wudu, it's the same washing with water, it's the same washing with water and soap, it's the same washing with water and kafur. The only difference may be when it comes to the separation of the hair, they place it into three braids. Now the shroud is of five pieces versus the three pieces that we had for the brother, which were equally cut pieces of shroud. The sisters have five pieces of shroud two long, one skirt, izar, one kameez, shirt, and one hijab. And they prepare it the same way as we prepared before, halfway. So the sisters removing the deceased from the fridge and placing them onto the wash table and preparing them for the ghusl. As you mentioned, the ghusl is the same, but as you see the sisters has made they have made the aura cover much longer and larger to cover the sister more than the brothers would cover ourselves rolling the body over and tucking the bag in the middle of the spine and then rolling up the rest of the body bag into a ball protecting from any leakage and putting it into the garbage once the washing has been done as we mentioned the same as the brothers is for the sisters they're placing the sister on the shroud making sure that everything is ready, placing the hijab, placing the shirt over, placing the izar over, removing the bag, and the final two pieces of shroud. So it's two shroud, one shirt, one lower garment, and the hijab. And they also are tying the ribbons to secure the kefin from becoming loose in transit, whether it be to the masjid, or to the cemetery. You are also permitted to perfume a sister shroud. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the washings and the shroudings of all the brothers and sisters and allow us to perform this in the proper way according to the Quran and Sunnah. Allahumma ameen ya Rabbana alameen.